All right, hello and welcome back to another Tropical Storm Cristobal update. Today is Saturday, June the 6th, and it's around 8, 8.30 in the morning Central Standard Time. So I have Carla out here with me, my, my wife and my youngest son. Uh, so I wanted to come out here to the east end of Dolphin Island uh, and show you the east side or the east end of Dolphin Island. I was on the west end yesterday late on the last update. So what I'll point out to you is a couple of things. So number one to my due south is the Gulf of Mexico. So that is the Gulf of Mexico in that direction. The current storm center is about 300 miles due south of the mouth of the Mississippi River. So I'll get into some graphics here shortly, but we know that this storm is lopsided on the eastern side. So to my due south, you can already see the, the initial feeder bands that are right here, right offshore. So the hunk or the meat or the main part of this system is to my due south. The storm's currently move, moving due north. I'm already feeling some raindrops in the air, so this is, this is gonna be an exciting day. Um, if you pan to my right, your left, uh, and look in that direction, that is the Mississippi area uh, where my buddy Mike is located uh, and preparing for this storm off the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So um, if you come in this direction, you can see a lighthouse. I don't, I don't know if you can zoom in on that or, or not. Um, it's kind of obscure, uh, but there's a lighthouse off in that direction. And this direction is the Mobile Bay. So the Mobile Bay side is the side when I go back to the house that you'll see me on my back porch. Uh, as, these, as these bands come in, uh, I'll be on that side. Uh, on the other side of the water, you can see land over here on this side. That is Baldwin County, Alabama, Gulf Shores, Foley, uh, further north, Daphne, Alabama, Fairhope, um, Loxley. Anyway, uh, but this is how it looks. We'll get into a couple graphics, but you can see that this storm is knocking on the door and right offshore. All right, uh, we'll cut out and take a look at uh, a few things and where the storm is now. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at this morning is the current Doppler or live Doppler radar uh, and the current forecasted track. Again, at this point, it doesn't really uh, quite matter too much per se where the center of circulation is going to come on shore. Uh, the storm is extremely lopsided, so let's see if I can pull up my uh, my pen here uh, so we can take a look at it. So, um, once again, where the blue blue dot is, uh, that's where I am located. That's on the Alabama Gulf Coast, Dolphin Island, Alabama. Um, so, the storm is currently still uh, quite a ways down um, into the southern Gulf of Mexico. However, it has picked up a little bit of steam, so... It is moving northward, uh, I think at around 13 to 14 miles per hour, but the pressure has dropped a bit to 992 millibars, which means the storm is trying to get a little bit more organized. So you can see that the entire eastern side of the storm uh, is, is extremely active, um, and then the western side, it, it, it's, it's kind of quiet. Well, why is this? You know, why, why, is, why is this the case? So a lot of dry air um, has been drawn in uh, to the western side and has started to kind of wrap around, uh, per se, the storm, causing that traditional comma-shaped storm, uh, and that makes the eastern side uh, the bulk of these types of storms. Okay, so here's the latest loop, and again, this is the Doppler radar. Um, this is the actual live Doppler. Uh, so you can, again, where I am is the blue dot. Again, my weather uh, forecast buddy Mike is in um, the Mississippi area here. But you can see that these outside feeder bands are just offshore. So at the very beginning of this video, uh, I was out there with my wife Carla, and she was filming um, as I was standing where that blue dot is uh, facing due south. So what we were able to see in the distance is these feeder bands. So what, what we can expect from these type of outer uh, feeder bands is the beginning of some heavy downpours, some of the beginning uh, to see some of that storm surge start to push on shore. Currently high tide where we are, Dolphin Island, and I think this is, is pretty true for the likes of Mississippi, New Orleans, is around 10.41 a.m. Central Standard Time. I think tomorrow it is around 11.15 or 11.20 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is about the time where the 
um, center of circulation, whether it's a, um, a con or a concentric wall or whether it's just a comma-shaped, lopsided, um, drawn-in, eastern-heavy type storm, um, I think that tomorrow morning um, and today um, around you know 11 o'clock and especially tomorrow around 11 o'clock, I think you're going to really see um, some pelting rain, some heavy winds. Uh, I would say maybe at this point, if the pressure keeps dropping, we started out last night at 1,000 millibars. We dropped to 999 and it went to 998. Now here we are at 992. So that means pressure is dropping, storm is intensifying. However, the warm or the warm dry air that wrapped into the left side or the west side, it, it may choke off the storm. And, and I'll try to describe, I'll try to show you what I mean by the storm being choked off here on the next graphic. Okay, so here is the live infrared uh, loop uh, for the Gulf of Mexico. So this is a great example of, of the traditional comma-shaped storm. So if you look here you, uh, from the western side, you can see where this uh, warmer, dry air is kind of wrapped around from uh, the west around to the south and, and kind of causing uh, this air intrusion or this kink in the storm right here. So what will what will uh, generally occur is that the the center of circulation will will catch this and it will come in and it'll cut off the outside of the storm. So the the comma will in essence be split into two. And what we do have to watch out for is is, is when this occurs and it looks like it's definitely going to occur. Will what is cut off this circular area? Will that be able to form a smaller tight cell? in of itself or whether whether it has the time to do so so it's moving north at 14 miles per hour we're pretty much uh, certain that this is going to be choked off and it's going to leave us with you know probably a round little area so the question is is for new orleans and 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 the and the tip of louisiana um and, and let's say where mike is potentially in gulfport uh, will it have time before it comes ashore for that separation uh nugget to build into something uh, that may be more intense. I don't think it has time to do so, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Don't count out that at this point at all. But again, if we look over here on the eastern side, this is heavy, 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 heavy stuff. Um, it's coming. It's going to come ashore tomorrow during the high tide. Um, and this, this constant on-flow uh, surge. And I'll see if I can get this pin off um, and then put it back on. Okay, good. So... Um, excuse me while I figure this out. This is a new app to me thing over here. What's up? Uh, but anyway, so this onshore flow is going to continue. Uh, as this as this center of circulation keeps coming ashore, it's going to pound, especially this kind of cove area inside the boot um, of Louisiana. I think it's Mandeville, Louisiana that's there. You have to look out for uh, the, the state line of Louisiana and Mississippi, uh, some of the western uh, edges of Mississippi where this onshore pounding is going to continue through two continuous high tides. So we really have to be careful in that area and be ready for um, some potential uh, impacts there for sure. So I wanted to bring up this graphic just really quickly um, because we just got our first heavy downpour. I'll, I'll try to go outside and film just a little bit of that in a second. I do have a broken arm and, and, a, and a fresh kind of gauze cast. So it's t it might be tough for me to get wet on this storm as usual. I will try to figure that out with a garbage bag or something. But anyway, so we're, we're already getting our first bands, right? Um, so first downpours just began and it's 836 Central Standard Time. This storm is still centrally are uh, located the center of a circulation way out in the Gulf of Mexico. You can just barely see the tip of Louisiana here now. So the longer this storm stays out there, and it was hot this morning when I went out there, but the longer this storm stays out here, again, there's nothing that we're going to be able to do about that um, warm air intrusion wrapping around and cutting that center of circulation off. Either way, it is going to be a very, very lively chunk that, that will split off from that eastern side. Uh, and again, if this thing loses steam, then it's very possible that this, this you know, maybe a run out of hurricane is not out of the question um, for that isolated ball that might be left over um, if it uh, is sheared off, if that comma shape is sheared off. So it's currently shaped, you know, kind of like this, right? So as this air wraps around here and it cuts this off, uh, this can develop on its own. But either way, this, is, this, is, this side here, is, which is coming on shore now, 
is going to be potent. So be careful with this one. Okay, guys, so these are our first downpour. So this is actually from my upstairs bedroom. Uh, so it is here. Really excited about this one. Very excited. Let's get down. So it's coming down. Um, game on. Check it out. Heavy, heavy, heavy downpours, and that's not going to stop. I mean, that's coming down. So once again, I'm out looking the um, Mobile Bay here. At the beginning of this video, I was facing the other direction. And basically, I was just on the other side of those trees. Um, but it's coming down. I mean, it's it's pouring. I mean, geez. I don't know if zooming in does any justice. You can see on those bulkheads. On the other side, sorry, I'm holding it with one hand and a broken arm. So it's kind of, it's kind of shaky sometimes. So, it's here guys, and my wife Carla just went out to coach a tennis lesson, so she will be coming home. Yes! Love it when she's home. So, again, um, if you haven't followed these videos before, that tree across the way is kind of like my wind gauge for super fierce winds. That palm tree down there is my gauge for kind of medium wind. So if it's blowing really hard, those stiff branches will, will churn over and bow over. Uh, and those will kind of give you some live action and bow over if it's not too terrible, uh, but still, um, uh, you know, kind of moderate. So we're here, guys. Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, have a really good time doing it. Uh, Mike, great luck or best of luck there on the Mississippi coast. Uh, so the storm is here. Uh, storm surge on the coast uh, where we are expected to be somewhere around two to four feet. Again, on the western end of Dolphin Island, that's a huge problem, especially in any low-lying areas, uh, especially in the New Orleans area. Again, New Orleans is kind of built on a bowl, um, so unless the levees and pumps are working, then it's kind of a, a soup bowl. So we have to be careful in, in the New Orleans area, uh, but keep your eyes on this one. Um, it will only go downhill rapidly. Uh, throughout the next 24 hours or so. Landfall is expected sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'll put out another update uh, pretty soon, uh, but hopefully everybody's well with this one. Uh, it should be a really good storm. Uh, again, it's really good for, for, for me. I enjoy intense weather. I know Mike enjoys intense weather, and some of you do. We don't, we don't intend to make um, any type of, 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 I guess you could say, fun over very serious matter. Uh, but nonetheless, everybody stay safe, um, stay, stay indoors, hunker down, get your flashlights ready, water ready in coastal areas, um, uh, power outages are a certain. So have a good one. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, get involved in comments below. I'll be active all day. Um, so, uh, if you, if you want to ask a question or get involved until the next update, um, just click on uh, the comments below. So again, we are in this general area, Mike and I, he's in Mississippi, and I'm right here, uh, headed for Bruntville. It looks like the Brunt is going to be coming uh, in our area. So we'll see what happens. Uh, take care.